Yo, what's good, what's good? Welcome, welcome to the Road to Pro. This is the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm currently in my hometown, Germantown, Philadelphia, getting gas, about to head up back to Penn State to go train, because the facilities there are just so much better. But yeah, here is gonna be a lot different videos, a different different style of video to the TikTok. There's gonna be more me just kind of showing the behind the scenes, like talking to agents, uh, what seeing what clubs are interested, like telling you guys about that, and just taking you guys throughout my journey, taking you guys to training, and all the behind the scenes stuff, because I feel like going pro from, from college is not like super well documented, and I think it would just be cool just to document that, because I used to always research that. I was like, is it possible to go pro from college? You know, Googling it, or like, what are the odds? And, you know, a lot of people doubt it. A lot of times in my comments, people are like, oh, you can't go pro from college, whatever. But yeah, I believe I can do it. I'm gonna show you guys I can do it and take you guys along with me. But one thing I will say, if you're watching this video and you haven't done something to achieve your own dream, then go ahead and click off this video right now and go do something and then you come back because what are you doing watching somebody else's somebody else try to achieve their dreams and you're not doing it that's insane and i'm not i'm not saying that to be a dickhead that comes out of love like just go do something whether it's a you know a quick workout something something that's gonna take you one percent closer to achieving your own dreams but yeah i'm heading back to penn state once i get there it's just gonna be straight training. Like all I'm gonna be doing is training. Uh, a little bit of schoolwork, but yeah, a lot of training. I'm, I'm with my strength with my strength coach. We came up with like a, a plan. I'll pop that up on the screen at some point in this video, but gave me a strength program that's building me up towards what's next. You know, I do know what's next. I can't say that right now because uh, in the email they gave me, I'm not allowed to say, but I believe I'll be allowed to say soon what is next for me, and that'll probably be in the next few videos, so. Once I get to my apartment at Penn State, I'm gonna rip a little workout at the gym, and then I don't think I'm gonna hit the field today. I may or may not, but what we do have to do is go grocery shopping. And yeah, this is what I want to talk about. Like the first thing, when you have a goal that you need to achieve, you got to just plan it out. So that's what we're going to do today. Today is a day to, you know, plan everything out. I'm going to set my schedule. I'm going to buy my groceries so that we're eating good because fueling your body is 90% of getting better physically. Literally 90%. I speak from experience. So I'm going to, we're going to go to the grocery store, you know, pick out some good food some steak, some chicken, some veggies, of course, but also a little bit more, some snacks. And then, yeah, we're gonna set ourselves up for success. We're gonna make a schedule, a training schedule. Every morning, we're gonna train. Every afternoon, we're gonna train. And yeah, we're gonna incorporate lots of rest in there. Lots of meetings with my strength coach, lots of meetings with my assistant coach. He's gonna be the one helping me with like the technical aspect. Because, you know, being a, I'm on Lincoln Drive right now. If you're from Philly, you know about Lincoln Drive. Like, you know, it's kind of nuts to be recording yourself and driving. But, <laughs> uh, shit. I mean, yo. Just got back to the apartment and I'm about to head to the gym. Today we got extensive conditioning and strength. You can see right here, hold up. Extensive conditioning and strength. We're gonna start off with some, I mean, obviously the warm ups up here. We got pogos, forward and backward. We got lateral pogos. Got the extensive conditioning, so we're going on the treadmill. All that treadmill work. We're getting we're getting stronger. We're getting faster. If anyone tells you you can't get faster, they're lying to you. 
I 100% got faster in my four years at college, a lot faster, more explosive. Uh, you can tell that in my, I'm gonna have a highlight tape soon of a new highlight tape. So you'll be able to see it, but like I 100% got faster. And that's just thanks to, I mean, first your diet, but then also just the, the work that my strength coach has been giving me. Adam, you're the goat. Foam rolling and stuff. Hold on, let me bring you guys lower. And do some foam rolling, some stretches. That's like a really important thing to start thinking about now is, you know, you gotta take care of your body. Obviously I've always been taking care of my body, but now it's even more important because you literally are a price tag when it comes to the pro game. Like if they can't use you, they're gonna lose you. They're not even gonna pick you. If, they, if you're injured or anything like that, it's ruthless. Like they really don't care. They have no sympathy at the pro level, even at the college level, but more so the pro level. If they can't make money off you, then they don't have a spot for you. That's just how it works. I have a lot of friends in the pro game and they tell me that same thing. Like you're literally looked at as a price tag. It's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's one thing if, you know, being a pro or college player is something that you wanna do. I'd really, this is something I wish I knew earlier, but like this game is a business. Like say you're at an academy, say you make it to a MLS academy at a young age, you're looked at right away, like can this kid make the, uh, make the club money? About to go on the bike a little bit to warm up, cause I'm not at the field. <sighs> These have a nice. Another thing people see is like, they see all the equipment I use, or like, people would always comment, they'd be like, oh, you must have grown up rich. Like you can afford college or you can afford academy or whatever. But like what people don't know is like, one, I'm definitely not rich at all. If anything, I'm the opposite, but I haven't had to really pay for uh, youth soccer and I know like youth soccer is super expensive and like some people get fucked over with just you know the fees you have to pay I would say that I got lucky I definitely got lucky to not have to pay because uh, I mean Union Academy I didn't have to pay for the school I didn't have to pay but they they actually threatened to take away my scholarship. They wanted to take away my scholarship, but that's the story for another time, but yeah. My point is, is that yes, the youth soccer system is very scammy. Like you have to pay for a lot of bullshit that you wouldn't have to pay for in Europe and stuff like that. But my, Biggest advice is that you can't really change it right now. You just gotta work super hard to get to a point where you get it for free. And this is not me saying that I've worked so hard and that, I mean, I have worked very hard to get where I'm at, but I've also been lucky, but I used to complain a lot. And once I stopped complaining and like, just, you know, worked with what I had, kept getting better, kept getting more looks until I got to the point where now I'm here. I'm at a great school, wherever I go, there's great facilities, so much equipment. And now you see me on, on the TikTok videos and stuff, <sighs> taking full advantage of that, or at least trying to. So yeah, huge yap session right there. All right, now we got uh, two build-up runs, 15 to 20 yards. Yeah, two build-up runs, 15 to 20 yards. 
at about 75, the first one, 75% uh, percent of your max capability, and then the next one, 90% of your max capability, and then that will conclude the warm up. Okay, wait, warm well, not fully done. Now we got some, uh, some plyos. Got some pogo hops. Let's see how many. Forward, backward pogo in place, two by 15. So you're gonna kind of pick a line. I see a little line in the rug right here. Just an imaginary line, but back and forth over the line, pogo hops, like that, your feet wanna go like that. Uh, 15. All right, next one. I believe it's the same thing, just lateral. Yeah, lateral, same thing, just like this. Let's go. We got 40 seconds on, 40 seconds off, nine and a half miles per hour for uh, 10 minutes. So I got a stopwatch right here. I'm gonna put it right here. I don't think I'm gonna post this whole thing, but yeah, 40 seconds on, 40 seconds off and then we're doing that twice. So after 10 minutes, we take a break and then we do it again. So it's on 9.5 right now, I'm about to start. 40 seconds. Whew. It's getting hot. Shit, five seconds. Shit. <laughs> All right, reset. 40 seconds on. Start now. Time for the lift. We got three different parts of this lift. So I'm just gonna show the first uh, rep of each one and then I'm just gonna lock in and do it myself because it's just gonna be annoying taking the camera at each single lift. So for the first three, first one, we got goblet squats. <clears throat> This one is a, this one's a, a core exercise. We got eight as well. And He's got pull-ups for the last one of, of this of this round. Alright, we got the next uh, part of the lift. We got alternating bench press and then two more. So this is the next set, next set of three. Three reps each. So let's do the alternating bench press first. Oh. 
obviously arms are never a focus for a footballer but can never hurt plus makes you look better but yeah for the most part any arm exercises are usually minimal but the next one yeah uh, machine or physio ball leg curl the leg curl machine is not working so what we're gonna do this is something that we also do in the gym we take a little bit of weight say 25 put it right here this is gonna hit the the hamstrings it's like this ah fuck you gotta put you guys lower Take it like this, get the bench on your lower back, and then it's mm, like that. Oh, my phone. Ooh, that shit burns. We're gonna do six each side. The knee drive. Pretty self explanatory. Boom. Side plank. Knee drive. Eight reps. I'll see you guys at the next section. At the last section. We only have two things and it's only for uh, two reps each. Not two reps, eight reps, two times, whatever. You're gonna get your band. This is called a pow off press. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ah, this band is dummy thick. Ah, and let's go like this. Just try to stay as straight as possible, keep the cord tight. Two. Three. Eight, and then push up to toe touch to end it off. Simple. All right. I got one more set of each of those and then it's time to go grocery shopping. After grocery shop, we're gonna get dinner with my girl and then it's time to sleep and do it all again tomorrow. Boom, just got back from Wegmans. We got a bunch of stuff. We got a lot of breakfast stuff. We got rice, we're gonna make rice a lot. I feel like rice and any protein is a good staple for dinner. You can do rice and steak, you can do rice and salmon, you can do rice and chicken. I do that a lot, a lot for dinner and lunch. Then for breakfast, <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing oatmeal a lot. And then I'm also gonna do granola. There's a lot of calories in this. It's very calorie dense, so that's why I like it a lot. When I was, this is for anyone trying to gain weight, as a footballer, you're gonna wanna have calorie dense food, actually no, 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 calorie dense snacks. Calorie dense snacks are key to get you into the calorie surplus. So if you're you know, skinny, your coach is telling you to bulk up, that is a great way. You're gonna wanna have two to three snacks a day and they're gonna be calorie dense. So stuff like avocado, granola, uh, nuts, seeds, all extremely calorie dense. That's how I gained 15 pounds sophomore year. And then, you know, also lifting and all that's gonna be super important. But yeah, that's for the food. There's not too much, it's super simple. You got the oatmeal, granola. Sometimes we're gonna do eggs for breakfast as well. And then for lunch, it's always rice and a protein. So rice and steak, rice and salmon, rice and chicken. Sometimes I'll make it myself, sometimes I'll eat out. 
but yeah, either way, I'm gonna show you. And then tomorrow we have a, a true session. We're gonna go out onto the field, so it's not just a lift tomorrow. You'll be able to see that. And then, I mean, obviously we'll also do conditioning tomorrow as well, and maybe a lift, we'll see. But I appreciate you guys joining me on this journey. I hope you guys are grinding yourself as well, and I'll see you tomorrow. So, we up.